First at five, a tense face off with Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf has a local man facing criminal prosecution. The altercation unfolded inside of a Lowe's store. Officials say it started because the man wasn't wearing a mask. The man's felony assault charge reduced today to disorderly conduct. But our Devin Clark says that man's attorney claims that's not good enough because he says his client did nothing wrong. Yesterday, inside a Lowe's store at I-10 in Callahan, you can see Judge Nelson Wolf appear to try handing a business card to a customer named Terry Toller before Toller slaps it out of the judge's hands. Toller's attorney, former DA Nico LaHood, contests any wrongdoing on Toller's part. Judge Wolf approached him. Judge Wolf did not maintain six feet distance. I don't know why. You'll have to ask Judge Wolf. Judge Wolf offered him a card over his shoulder into his face that he didn't ask for. Toller got slapped with a second degree felony assault on a public servant charge. The only physical thing that happened was when I went to hand him a card, he, you know, knocked my hand down and, you know, it didn't hurt me. The Bear County District Attorney says Judge Wolf himself suggested that the charge be reduced to disorderly conduct for using profanity in a public setting. But LaHood says that's not good enough and no charge should have been brought against his client in the first place. If, if Judge Wolf didn't have the privilege of being in the position he was in, well, then he wouldn't have had the result this fast and now it's being corrected. This afternoon, Judge Wolf released a statement which in part says, quote, I did not want to pursue any sort of criminal complaint against Mr. Toller. I did not want this to be a distraction of our main focus of requiring businesses to have customers wear masks and continuing to ensure the health and safety of everyone in our community, end quote. Following the incident yesterday, Wolf admitted personal wrongdoing after being spotted in a restaurant speaking to someone without his mask on. I probably should have pulled it up uh, right away, but uh, I didn't. As as far as the Lowe's incident, the Bear County DA says the office doesn't comment on pending investigations, but LaHood is not keeping quiet about what he says was an arrest warrant issued without any due process. This was taken way out of context. At the, at the very least, it was mishandled very irresponsibly. And at the worst, it was deceptive. Again, Toller facing a disorderly conduct charge, which is a Class C misdemeanor and carries up to a $500 fine if convicted. Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.